Oh my goodness, there's probably over a hundred of them. So this is how much it killed, guys. Pretty disgusting. Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Kappa's Electric Insect Zapper. Now the reason why I purchased this thing is because, let me show you. I have a backyard that is, let me see if I can uh, show you guys some of the insects here. Uh, if you can see right there, that's one of them, but this is just from the inside and there's a whole bunch right there. But let me quickly go outside to show you. So as you can see, we do have a lake in our backyard and when it comes to nighttime, there is so many insects and flying bugs flying around. I'm not sure if the camera can catch all these little things here, but if you can see all these little dots, those are not dirt, those are those little flying insects and a whole bunch up there on top also. And uh, here is a whole bunch more. And at nights it gets really, really annoying, especially right when I open the door, you know, all these things rush into the house and then you, I can't even stay out here and enjoy the weather. So that's why I bought the uh, insect zapper and uh, we're going to actually, hopefully it will take care of all this problem. I fish out here from time to time too and it's really a pain in the butt with all the insects mosquitoes and flies flying around and you can hear them and everything so that's why I bought this thing this is the Kappa electric insect zapper it's supposed to uh, zap and kill all the insects flies mosquito or pretty much any flying bug that is out there so first impression was this thing is a lot bigger than I thought it was so I bought it uh, on Amazon it came inside this box and in this box it was packaged in this box and in this box we have the zapper with the user manual and this box which includes the hanger if you want to mount this onto the wall outside or anywhere and then hang it on top here so again this thing is pretty big it's 10 by 10 uh, I mean it's 10 inches uh, in height so uh, it's pretty tall and the cord here is uh, 65 inches, so um, a little bit over five foot, five foot and a half. So uh, some questions that you guys may want to know is, does this work during the rain? The manufacturers say it does, but they don't recommend you to use in the rain because of course, you know, electrical stuff like that. But it does work, let's say if you forget and leave it in the rain hanging out there for a little, I guess, but you know, to be on the safe side, just. Uh, I wouldn't use it since they say it themselves. It is uh, not recommended to use. And um, it could be used indoor or outdoor. And the UV light is absolutely safe to human and pets. So if you have pets, uh, you don't have to worry about the harm or anything. It's completely safe to human and all animals. So, which is also a good thing. And uh, as you can see here, the design, the mesh out here is designed to protect us or any children or kids from touching the uh, inner part of it so we will never get electrocuted anyway but uh, it is supposed to be uh, very safe for human and pets and um, there's no chemical that was used in making this thing no fume nothing that uh, will uh, pose a risk to human or to uh, our pets and things like that so in order to clean out all the bug here all you have to do is there's two screws at the bottom here. All you have to do is remove this two screw, one on the left and one on the right there. And then remove the bottom piece and then just toss all the bugs away. And screw it back in and uh, you are ready to turn it on again. Now the coverage, okay, coverage, is supposed to cover up to one acre of land. So my land is a little over three fourths uh, of an acre, so very close to one acre. So this should cover just fine. And um, the light bulb, so how long is the light bulb is going to last us? The manufacturers say it should last around three to five years. But let's say if it burned out or anything happened to it before three years is up, they will replace a free bulb for you. So 
three year limited warranty which is not bad so let's say if it does die at three years if we do the calculation you are paying about a dollar and 67 cents per month to use this for three years which is not bad i don't mind paying a dollar and some change to enjoy the atmosphere of our backyard and things like that so now what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to bring this outside plug it up and uh, let it run for a couple of hours it is still during the day time right now i'm going to let it run anyway to see if it will kill any bugs or not and i will be right back in a couple of hours Alrighty, so it has been about five or six hours now and as you can see there I have the uh, zapper light out there so let's go ahead and go out there and see if we've killed any bugs or insects as you can see there's a lot of them surrounding the lights so let's get closer so you can hear the zapping sound. I can actually hear them dying. <laughs> wow, this is really good, guys. You see all this? Oh my goodness, there's probably over a hundred of them. I'm going to go back inside because it is surrounding the light like ants one got in my nose or something but it is crazy guys so the lights is working very well uh, I'm not sure if the camera can catch the sound just now but you can actually hear the, zzz, zzz, the sound of the uh, light zapping the uh, insects so uh, I'm gonna leave it here overnight and it seems like it kills a whole bunch of them already. So I'm gonna leave it on overnight and then uh, when morning comes, I'm gonna actually unscrew the bottom and show you guys how many of the insects it actually kills. Okay, so it is morning now guys. So we're gonna go out there and see how this thing does. Hmm. I thought last night I saw a lot of uh, bigger bugs right here when I recorded the video for you guys. But here it is. Let's take a closer look in there, guys. You see all those? Those are all the bugs that it killed. There must be hundreds and hundreds of them in there. Let me show you a closer look here. So the uh, stick inside it should supposed to be a clean stick like up here. But down here as you can see there's many of the dead insects in there. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually unscrew. Whoa. Well here you go. Here's a better look. A whole bunch of dead bugs right here. Let me set this down. Okay. Hold on. So here is a whole bunch of dead insects there. So um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unscrew the two bolts that are below here. That way I can show you how much dead insects did it actually kill. But just from looking at the lights around here so far, it's probably killed a couple of hundreds already. So I will be right back guys. So this is how much it killed guys, pretty disgusting, show you better. So all of these little things fell out of here. These are all the insects, most of them died already and a um, good bit of them is still crawling for some reason but I have got to say with this and what is already in there. I think it killed a couple of hundreds or up to a thousand of these insects. 
from the overnight I left it out here which is pretty amazing so um, it definitely helped overall but as you can see uh, from all the time that I have not used the lights I'm not sure if you can see up there but all those little dots up there or those insects but uh, I'm gonna actually hang this uh, light up for the next couple of days now I didn't hang it up yet because I want to do this experiment to show you guys that it seemed like it's working very well and doing a really good job there killed a whole bunch of the insects so I'm gonna actually hang it up on the side here or maybe on this pole out here and then um, leave it out for a couple more nights and uh, hopefully I can have some peaceful time out here fishing and playing with the kids out here um, so as you can clearly see it works amazing and uh, I've got to say I'm quite surprised because I used previous ones before and it does not work this well so this one seemed to work very well I wanted to show you guys a quick view of uh, how to actually clean this thing so as I was cleaning cleaning the bottom of it all you have to do the bottom part is easy just pour out the insects but the ports that's inside there we can't actually get access to that so what I found easiest was I used this blower thing this is actually for my uh, kids jump house so if you have a blower at home you can just blow it to this thing and it would just blow all the insects out and it is back to like new again so um, again if you have a blower I don't so I use this thing and it works the same way and it's back to new and ready to go again and uh, I'm gonna leave this out here for a couple of more days kill some more insects make sure I want to get rid of all these insects so I will leave a link to this item in the description box below make sure to check it out and read more information on it I pretty much went over everything with you guys already from what I see I do highly recommend it and it works very good so make sure to check uh, click that link and check it out and get yourself uh, one or two of these and get rid of all these little nasty things behind your backyard or your job site or whatever it is wherever you are that need to get rid of these little things so thanks guys i will see you in the next video